What's up, what's up? So, we are about to get a Scorpio reading, and you already know, you already know, I love the Scorpio squad, you feel me, it was a football game, with me and you, baby, I would be playing the same position, me and you, so you feel me, no beef, I understand how you move, okay, I understand what's going on, everybody else may not understand you, but I got you, okay, the Aries gang, we got you, understand that, first and foremost, Praise to the most high for bringing us together. Because, you know, all this understanding in the mix, we need that. And we wouldn't have that without the most high. You already know we're highly favored and protected. Meaning, no weapon form shall prosper. All right, so we finna leave that right there. You feel me? If they would like to. Anywho, Scorpio, what's good with you? How you been? Huh? Let's see what's going on. We're going to start off with the original Moonology Oracle. And then we're going to... You know, get to the tarot. We're gonna see what's really good going on. Oh man, we get no sneak peek on that one. We get no sneak peek on that one. All right, let's see what we got. Boom. We have the energy is gaining momentum. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold your vision, my love. Fixed moon. Hold your vision. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. We may need to release any types of fears that make us feel as if nah we ain't it because at the end of the day we the truth baby you already know what it is turn up sorry anywho full moon and toss your dreams need a practical plan is that not the story of my life i'm trying here you feel me i'm doing i'm re this isn't about me this i'm just the reader right <laughs> i'm just the reader I, I tend to get emotional I can't help it. I, I, I'm an emotional being, all right? Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to take this second to rant. I think in my past lifetimes, I didn't express myself, which is why I'm so animated and characteristic. Like, I feel like a cartoon character at times, but I love it. I love it. Like, when I get mad, I'm like, I'm so mad. They're like, why? I'm like, oh, no, I'm not really mad. It's just how else am I going to get, you know what I mean? There's other energies, you know? So, anywho, nonetheless, I'm feeling very animated. I'm feeling like you guys are feeling very animated, Scorpio. I'm liking the... Oh, crap. I'm actually texting the Scorpio. Holy crap, Scorpio. Whoa. First and foremost, we are not intentionally pulling on that Scorpio's energy. Spirit, please shield that and make sure that is not a no bueno. We ain't tapping in nobody without no you feel me? We're good to go. Good people, lovely woman. Nonetheless, let's just get straight to it, Scorpio. I'm getting freaked out. Just, just a little bit. I'm getting really freaked out. All right, so let's go. See what's influencing the read at this time, Scorpio. Nine of Cups. Okay, that emotional fulfillment. As you can see, homie or shorty is actually sitting in a lotus flower. That it seems to be a rather large cup. You feel me? You feel me? Now this one. Four cups. Oh, man. Is somebody pondering on this thinking, was this a missed opportunity? It seems so nice, so pleasant, so emotionally fulfilling. I could almost overindulge in this and not care. Now they're just holding themselves. I don't know. That's not the wave, though. That's not the vibe. We don't want to do that. Mm -mm, no way, no. Absolutely not. Not today. Four wands. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe they're trying to ponder on how I can get to my end game, which is a very happy union. With somebody who's fully full within themselves. Hopefully not a Knight of Wands. We're just going to leave that to myself. Alright. So, somebody's looking at this picture from another angle. Another perspective. And as you can see, they need a practical plan. Because they want to reconcile with you. They want to come back around. They want to play nice. They want to play house. They want to put sit. I ain't going to. No. Ab no. We're, n we're not feeding into that energy. Ten of Swords. It was a painful ending. That, that's honestly all I had for that one. I thought more was coming as well. <laughs> I didn't have it. Anywho, I don't got it. Let's not do that. Anywho, okay, three of pentacles. It was a very painful ending to the situation. And as we glimpse, we see that in actuality, and maybe in their very far subconscious, they actually did want to cooperate. Let's 
go. Ten of Wands, exactly. So they created a burden for himself, themselves, excuse me. I only say him because it's a dude on a card. That's all. All right, so, oh, man, now you see their love seems to be fragmented all over the place. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And now they're just like, why, how did we even get here? We got the double down on the tens with the ten of wands and the ten of swords. So not only is this a mental horrible ending, this is a physical stress that I personally have to handle. Oh, my goodness. So it looks like, yes, this love is fragmented and they're waiting hopelessly waiting to drop this burden all right they've got some sort of exciting idea maybe some sort of news they would like to present to this particular scorpio you like how i did that right that was fire that was fire oh excuse me you ain't no scorpio are you you're an empress i'm not just a scorpio i'm a divine feminine mm, and i've been through the ringer oh okay no i'm sorry this is him okay all right so he's ready to present himself. And he has some sort of news to present to you. That's too far. We're going to put you over here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, cool. So they have some sort of news to present to you. But only thing is they're battered. They're exhausted. They're fatigued. They're still feeling as if they're on the battlefield. They need the four of swords. They need the hermit. They need your divine love and light sent their way so they can truly heal. They need to be nurtured. Now, I'm not being a jerk. I'm being so serious. Between the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Wounded Warrior vibes, and he's consumed in his emotions, he is not doing well. All right? He's he's literally operating based off... He's operating off of fumes, which is fumed by a broken heart. Is that not self-destruction? He's working himself ragged with the Eight of Pentacles. The Hierophant. He needs forgiveness. He wants forgiveness. He's looking for forgiveness. All right. He's questioning if he can have a new beginning with you, but that's his intentions. All right. He sees things very clearly. All right. He wants forgiveness or he wants a new beginning with you. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Split is the Two of Pentacles. He'll take either one. Anyone. All right. All right, Scorpio, I need you to heal him up. All right, so, all right, I'm about to give you a little speech, Scorpio, only because you're me. If we were in a football game, it'd be me and you, which means we're both bosses. We are the only signs who use our own energy to get a project situation started on our own. Nobody else help input. We maintain everything on our own. Nobody else's input, and we can close something out on our own. Nobody else can do what we do, so boss the boss let's be real you're an empress energy which means you've mastered your divine masculine energy right it's a very difficult thing okay in order to get to your feminine energy you have to go through your masculine as we just said if i'm not mistaken i did see the high priestess i see the hierophant which is your divine masculine energy within yourself right you've mastered that so your divine masculine and yourself is leading this divine masculine back to you for healing, for replenishment, for love. Now, being an empress, yes, you come first, first and foremost, yes. But the thing about the empress is she makes sure everybody in her kingdom, excuse me, empire is good to go. Every single person. But she's always, her needs are met first. She doesn't pour into somebody else's cup. She overflows into other cups. So understand what you're doing. You are overflowing life. You're not depleting yourself. All right? If you have the access, do so. All right? You're clearly very much of a healing energy. Okay? Being that you're Scorpio, you're very compassionate, understanding, and intuitive. All right? Now, me as an Aries, I understand that you're only trying to protect yourself and your emotions, which is why you put up that exterior. Okay, now for me personally, it's not my emotions, it's my passion that I'm protecting as an Aries, just so that we're both in vulnerable positions. All right, this is fair. As a boss, I don't want to see somebody in your kingdom fall because they lack nurturing, love, whatever the situation may be. 
for us to be these powerful energies we have to forgive even people places and things that never even ask for it which is how you put yourself on this throne notice i said put yourself on that throne all right everything is character development and for you to have such a large territory means that you have to lead by example all right so when the children that are watching you they may have seen the nonsense that happened right the children in your community and they see the nonsense and the situations that may have unfolded they see you rise to your throne and they see you forgive and help lead this energy to being a better version of themselves maybe not necessarily for you two to be romantic or in the situation or whatever but you're good enough you're good enough to lead to heal to inspire so I just wanted to say that okay yeah let's get back to the cards back to the cards all right Scorpio let's get back to your reading nine of pentacles okay tower okay so yes I know I said a lot clearly you're, you're seeing it now yes this could be very successful with the nine of pentacles yes this is a blessing from the most high and an opportunity for you to collect your 10th pentacle Yes, you guys can be happy and celebrate. I'm glad that tower hit. I'm very glad that tower hit, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Um, honestly, it's understanding. As long as we understand and we see things from another perspective, our subconscious, our reality can shift on its own. And we don't even have to do anything. It's just a simple. That's all we need. So, maybe energetically, you sent a little bit of love and light that way. And now you see what's going on. Or at least somebody is seeing that there's a potential for success here. So whoever this energy is, good job. Very good job. Okay, clearly you just had your tower moment and you sent that over to him. So since you sent that energy, don't be surprised if he just shows up uh, sporadically. He's ready to surrender and give up all the nonsense and all the fighting. All you need is a little love and light. That's all you need. I don't know. Seven of Wands. Come on, Scorp. What's good? What don't you know about? The hanged man. You see things differently. You're manifesting something different. I'm not going to get into that. But what I will say is, wouldn't it be funny if you're manifesting something, but you didn't tell the universe specifically you didn't want somebody in particular, and then this healed person that you manifested is the new and improved version of the same person that you quote unquote did not want, but didn't specify to the universe. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how when you have a plan, like God will literally laugh at you? You feel me? Yeah. Be specific with your manifestation. All right, Scorpio, I love you. And that was entertaining. I know I just put so many seeds in your head that you're just like, oh my God. I know. I love you too. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I love you guys. Thank you guys for being a part of my familia. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being a part of my spiritual journey. All right, so we're going to leave this right here. You already know we are highly favored and protected, meaning no weapon form shall prosper. And for you, Scorpio, I'm going to be honest with you. You have real gangster vibes, like real gangster vibes. And I'm not saying I need you to step up and be a boss, but you're already a boss. All right. Now you could do it in a feminine light. Yes, of course. Do it from the back. Make him think that he's doing everything in actuality. We, we know what's real. You feel me? But you need to spread some of that love and light, my dear. Love and love and light. Boom, 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 boom. They need you. Your community needs you. And I'm just being real with you. All right, it's, it's very rough. We got 10 swords, we got 10 wands for one energy. Not to mention, I believe we've seen the wounded warrior as well. So love and light to you, love and light to this energy. And I hope you guys can heal whatever the situation is. And just because you heal it doesn't mean you go back to watching your shows and having a date night or even being together. You guys could just like see each other in, gr in the grocery store and not want to punch each other in the face anymore. You know what I mean? Just simple, small things. We're healing here okay we're not healed all the way we're healing here okay so baby steps okay my higher self is like yeah nah ish nah that no 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 so we're gonna leave that one right there i love you and big ups to you being a boss and truly embodying this energy 
I respect it and I love it. All right? Love and light.